Hello, I'm Eamon Spencer, and welcome to my presentation on the shell model of human factors. The shell model was developed to understand the relationships between aviation system resources, environments, and the human component. The model suggests that the human is rarely, if ever, the sole cause of an accident and considers factors which interact with the human operator that affect performance. The components of the shell model include primary liveware, software, hardware, environment, and secondary liveware. The human operator is the most critical and flexible component in the system interacting directly with the others. The software includes the organization, the aspects that govern the system, rules, regulations, policies, and procedures, the computer software itself, and other documents like charts, maps, publications, manuals, and checklists. The hardware consists of the physical elements of the plane, such as the controls, displays, and seating. As you travel the world, you'll have to deal with changing environments. The internal environment includes cabin temperature, pressure, noise, and light levels. The external environment includes weather, terrain, airspace, buildings, and infrastructure. The interactions between the primary liveware and secondary liveware are important. The flight crew must interact with ground crew, ATC, and management in order to operate a safe flight. Liveware to software is the interaction between operator and data and includes knowledge and skills. It relies on the user friendliness of documents like the design and interpretation of maps and charts. Ambiguous symbology and confusing documents can lead to interface mismatch. Liveware to hardware is the interaction between operator and machine and is the user reaction to aviation systems. It includes physical features like seat design and cockpit displays. Poorly designed equipment, instrument location, and warning systems are interface mismatch. Liveware to environment is the interaction between the operator and their internal and external environments. It deals with discomfort, distraction, and weather like air conditioning, soundproofing, and anti-ice systems. Mismatches include jet lag, perceptual errors, visual illusions, and a negative organizational culture. Liveware to liveware is the interaction between the operator and the crew, like ground personnel, ATC, and management. Teamwork is a must and relies on leadership, coordination, cooperation, and communication. Mismatches include poor communication and an imbalanced authority. The model can be applied across all areas of aviation to better understand the interrelationships between humans, machine, and other aviation systems. It has been consistent in providing adequate data, and I believe it has been an effective tool in safety analysis and accident investigation. This model, along with others, will continue to mitigate safety risks and human error in years to come. Thanks for watching.